couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome to another Finger Style Challenge of the Week lesson. Today we're gonna have a lot of fun, but it's not gonna be a smooth sailing because it's gonna be a Greg Howe riff. And nothing by Greg Howe is ever simple, but I'm gonna walk you through it. It's a riff taken from Greg Howe's wonderful composition, Desiderata. It goes like this. <laughs> It's not that simple, but it's not that difficult either once you get the point. You start with a B7 shape, okay, two, zero, two, one, two. You can take the third finger off of the third string because you're not gonna use the third string. And the rhythm pattern is this. Thumb, first string, second string. And I am using these two fingers because these two fingers play the first and second strings. So it's thumb, okay, a bass note, and then first string, second string. Thumb, first, second. Thumb, first, second. That's it throughout. And the confusing part has to do with the bass notes. You play the D string, okay, and then strings one and two, and then you play the A string. Okay, so you have one, two on strings three and uh, four and five. Okay, that's the first lick. Then you push it one fret up, two, two, and three, with three on the E string. And you do the opposite. You play the A string and then the D string. Okay, and then you loop it around. D string, A string, A string, D string, okay? On one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two. Now, um, the thing here, the way I memorized it, the way I prevent confusion is that I remember that after the first chord you play each bass string twice. D, A, A, D, D, A, A, D, D. But that may be confusing to some of you, so here's another way of memorizing it. Down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, I mean down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. I mean physically. If you want to go musically about it, it's the up. It's the opposite. It's the other way around. But enough confusion. I hope you got it by now. Then you start practicing it. And the goal is to raise the bar by speeding it up until you can play it like this. It might take you a while. Sure took me a while, but it's doable. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me, I was the laziest student ever. Then the next uh, lick, the next phrase actually, is almost the same thing, but you take this two frets up to four and five with five on the E string. You start the same way, D string, A string. And then you go um, two frets up, but um, you change a fingering because it uh, switches from a major chord to a minor chord. So instead of a major third, you have a minor third. On five on the D string, on seven on the A string. So you use your third finger for the A string this time. You switch from the second finger to the third. And the pinky is on seven. So, okay, A string, D string. So, four and five, seven and five. 
Okay, now practice this until it feels comfortable. Then you take these two fingers, two frets up to seven and nine, and you use the middle finger for eight on the E string. Told you, Greg Howe never keeps anything simple. And you just play it. Okay, now we're not playing Desiderata, we're playing this, so you can freestyle and play it as many times as you want, each chord, uh, each phrase, each couplet of chords, you can play it as many times as you like, but if you want to keep it symmetrical, play this um, four times, then this four times, and then this eight times. Okay? Um, because it's a half of a full phrase, so you have to double the amount. Then you take this three frets up, to 10 and 12 on the bass notes and 11 on the E string. And you play the same thing you just did on seven and nine, but you slow it down. And then 12 on the E string and the E bass string. Okay? and you're done. So let's go over it one more time. Two and three on the bass notes, two, three, and two. Four and five, seven and five. Seven and nine with eight on the E string. Slide it up three frets. it down and end on an E double triple octave triple octave because E E E E you can also use the harmonic on five if you want for a quadruple octave if you can make it ring out uh, okay, so you go practice this and I'll see you in the next lesson, but before you go, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go download the tab from the website, the link is in the description, the tabs are for free, they're always for free, but if you want to give something back and help out in making the lessons, there's a donation button right above the tabs, you can't miss it, it's a large blue button that says donate, ran out of air there for a second, uh, I talk a lot, and uh, as we know, and... Um, you go practice this, have fun with this, get it on your fingers. It's a really, really awesome lick to work on your chops with. And um, let me know how it goes, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.